Behind every great man, there's a great woman. Welcome to Ms. Mojo's Top 5 Facts. In this installment, we're looking at the most fascinating facts regarding Jackie, the 2016 biographical drama starring Natalie Portman as First Lady Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis. Number 5. Jackie was the first to refer to the Kennedy administration as Camelot. Think back on all the tales that you remember of Camelot. John F. Kennedy's administration would go down in history as the Camelot era. Following her husband's assassination in 1963, Jacqueline Kennedy became the first person to publicly use this phrase. In an interview with Theodore H. White of Life magazine, she revealed that the president was a fan of the Broadway musical Camelot, which centered on the legend of King Arthur. The couple even made a habit of listening to the show's title song before going to bed. JFK was particularly enamored with this song's closing lines. Don't let it be forgot that once there was a spot for one brief shining moment that was known as Camelot. Don't let it be forgot that once there was a spot for one brief shining moment. In her interview with White, Jacqueline stated, There will be great presidents again, but there will never be another Camelot. The song plays a key role in Pablo Larraín's biopic, as Jackie Kennedy copes with the death of her husband and the end of an era. There won't be another Camelot. Not another Camelot. Number 4. Director Pablo Larraín refused to do the movie without Natalie Portman. It's a beautiful opportunity to, to focus on a woman, on a, on a first lady on a mother and someone who is so iconic for the rest of the world. Through Jackie, director Pablo Larraín aspired to tell a story that captured the emotions Jacqueline Kennedy was feeling in the wake of her husband's assassination. Jackie was someone incredibly mysterious. It's probably one of the most unknown from the known people. The success of his film would largely depend on the leading lady. In Larraín's eyes, Natalie Portman was the only actress that could do the first lady justice. According to Elle magazine, the Chilean filmmaker told Portman up front, I'm not doing the movie without you. If you won't do it, then I won't even touch it. Larraín additionally promised Portman that she would be in every scene of the picture. According to Vulture, the director insisted that screenwriter Noah Oppenheim cut every scene that didn't include the titular character. Larraín got his way and Portman's casting was officially confirmed in May 2015. Number 3. The movie was shot using grainy 16mm footage. I'm guessing you won't allow me to write any of that. No. Because I never said that. Memories and nostalgia are major themes in Jackie, as the main character reflects on her family's days in the White House. Thus, Larraín decided to take an old-fashioned approach. According to The Guardian, he accomplished this by shooting in grainy 16mm, which also helps to seamlessly weave in authentic footage. This gave the movie a gritty, uncomfortable, almost dreamlike sentiment, making the audience feel as if they're perceiving the past and present from Jacqueline Kennedy's point of view. Much of the picture is also filmed in extreme close-up, allowing Natalie Portman's facial expressions to fully convey Jackie's grief, frustration, and uncertainty. Stéphane Fontaine has earned strong praise for his cinematography, which arguably supplies another layer of raw emotion. Why are you doing this, Mrs. Kennedy? Oh, I'm just doing my job. Number 2. Natalie Portman worked on the perfect Kennedy accent. And tell General de Gaulle that if he wishes to ride in an armored car or in a tank for that matter, I won't blame him. And I'm sure the tens of millions of people watching won't either. Natalie Portman's portrayal of Jacqueline Kennedy is already being hailed as a career best performance, perhaps even outshining her Oscar winning work in Black Swan. Portman didn't get into character overnight, however. She strived to turn in the most authentic depiction of Jackie Kennedy possible. I really watched and listened to the tapes of the original White House tour mm -hmm. over and over and over again. Portman notably worked towards nailing Kennedy's distinctive mid-Atlantic accent, which was common amongst girls that attended Miss Porter's finishing school. You know, when you see interviews of her versus hearing tape recordings of her talking to her friend in private, you know, it's it's... It's a completely different voice and a completely different sense of humor, so little details like that were helpful for finding those kind of different aspects. In addition to studying books, audio tapes, and White House tour recordings, she trained intensely with a dialect coach, 
Once Portman finally arrived on set, she not only had the accent down to a T, but also had a much deeper understanding of who Jackie O really was. I've grown accustomed to a great divide between what people believe and what I know to be real. And how would you like him remembered? There should be more horses, more soldiers. Why are you doing this, Mrs. Kennedy? There's more crying, more cameras. Number one, Oscar buzz is through the roof. You ready? Of course. I love crowds. It isn't uncommon for an actor to do countless takes until they finally get it right. Natalie Portman gave an almost perfect performance in Jackie, however. Speaking with Vanity Fair, Larraine noted that a good third of the movie was done in single takes. None of Portman's scenes required more than five takes. For her impressive acting feat, Portman is expected to earn an Academy Award nomination and possibly even another Best Actress win. I'm not the first lady anymore. You can call me Jackie. The film is already making the award season rounds. Winning Best Screenplay at the Venice Film Festival and the Platform Prize at the Toronto International Film Festival. Portman has additionally earned nominations at the Independent Spirit Awards, Satellite Awards, and Critics' Choice Awards, with the results pending. So do you think the film will live up to all the hype? What do you think is the most intriguing Jackie fact? For more award-worthy top 10s and historical top 5s published every day, be sure to subscribe to Ms. Mojo. I wanted a very simple design so that the china and silver and glass would show up more. So I looked all over and the prettiest ones I found came from West Virginia.